Simplify. Now, there are so many ways that you could do these questions. One of the ways I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, ignore the bottom for now. Okay, just ignore that. Let's just look at the top. But there are other ways. There, maybe I'll show you uh, method one, and then I'll, I'll show you two different methods. Okay? And then there might even be more after that. So what I'm going to do with method one is I'm just going to look at the top, and then after that, I'm going to look at the bottom. So if I look at the top, I can see we've got an R over there and an R over there. I'm going to put those together. So that's going to become R. Now, what is the what should I do with these numbers? Should I plus, minus, divide, multiply? Well, what if you have A3 multiply with A2? What do you do with those numbers? You add. So we're going to add those numbers. Now, if you have a calculator, just do it. Minus 2 plus 4, what does that give you? Minus 2 plus 4 is 2. So you just put a 2 over there. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the S's. So the S's, um, we're just going to add those exponents. So minus 5 plus minus 2, that's going to give us minus 7. At the bottom, there is nothing we can do because the R and the S's are two different things. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take anything that's negative and change its place. So this is positive, this is positive, this is positive, but this one is negative. So I'm going to put the negative in the different place. So if it is at the top, now I'm going to put it at the bottom. So it's going to go to the bottom. So at the top, we're still going to be left with this one. At the bottom, we still have this one. We still have this one. And now we're going to have S7. But the 7 is now a positive because I moved it from the top to the bottom. If you move it from the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom, this part changes. So if it was negative, it becomes positive. If it was positive, it then becomes negative. Now, at the bottom, I can see that I've got these two as S's now. So I know that um, I must add these exponents. That just becomes S to the 13. Now, I can also see that these two are exactly the same. The one is at the top, the one's at the bottom. They're going to cancel out. And so what we now have is at the bottom, we've got a 13 with an S. At the top, we don't have anything. So what do we do? When there's nothing there, you put a 1. So that's the answer. Now, with method number 2, I'm going to immediately take all the things that are negative and move them to a different place. So I'm going to put this... And you only have to do one of these in the exam. I'm just showing you different methods. So I'm going to put this R2 at the bottom. Okay, so at the bottom we already have R2 and S6. Then I'm going to put this R2 at the bottom. I'm going to put this S at the bottom, but now it becomes positive. Whenever you move it, it changes sign. And then I'm also going to put this at the bottom. Okay, at the top I still have R4. And, okay, so I've got everything there now. Now I'm going to sort of switch back to this method. So at the top, I've got R4, can't do anything. At the bottom, I've got R there, I've got R there. So what should you do with those exponents? You must add them. So that's going to become R to the 4. Now for the S's, I've got 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to add all of those. That's going to become 6 plus 5 plus 2, which is 13. Now I can realize that these two are the same, so they would cancel out. And so now we're just left with one. Same answer, two slightly different methods.